In this video, we will go over how to use your CBT codebook to assign codes from the pathology and laboratory section of CBT. So let's start by opening up the path and lab guidelines in your CBT tabular. Again, just like all the other sections, the guidelines are outlined here, then the different subsections you will find organ or disease panels, drug assays, therapeutic drug assays, suppression testing, clinical pathology, urinalysis, molecular pathology, chemistry. I won't read these all. You guys can look at the titles. Then the molecular pathology gene table is quite a few pages. So if we skim past that, then we go to the path and lab guidelines. Again, it explains the unlisted codes, a special report if needed, and then the tabular section actually starts. So let's go ahead. We're going to practice coding a couple scenarios, and then you're going to do one on your own. So let's first start and say our patient is in the office today and we run a lipid panel. So what is the lab or path code for a lipid panel? So, of course, we look it up in the index like we always do. Lipid panel. Let's try to go to panel, right? Our main term would be panel. Once we get to panel, it tells us, see blood test, organ, or disease-oriented panel. So, let's go to O to organ. And in the top, under organ, has organ or disease-oriented panel. Acute hepatitis, electrolyte, general health, hepatic function, hepatis, hepatitis panel, lipid panel. That's the one we want. 80061. So now we're going to flip to our tabular and look at 80061, which reads lipid panel. And then it tells us the tests that are in a lipid panel. Remember, you can never code those separately. That's called unbundling. You have to code the panel when a panel is done. So our code would be 80061. Let's try another one. Let's say our patient is coming in for a chemistry of TSH. So again, let's go to our index. And under path and lab, we have a chemistry section. So under path and lab, go to chemistry, and then we're going to go to T and look if we can find TSH. You need to know what TSH stands for. Hopefully you all know it's thyroid stimulating hormone. So we're going to look for thyroid. So thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH is in the parentheses, so we know our abbreviation is correct, and it gives us 84443. So that is the correct code, 84443. So again, we always verify in the tabular. So 84443 is thyroid simulating hormone. Perfect, TSH, that's the one we want. So now I want you to practice doing a gross ex pathological examination on a tooth. So pause the video a minute and then we're going to go over what answer you get. Again, gross pathological examination of a tooth. Okay, so hopefully you guys all assign code 88300, level one, surgical pathology, gross examination only. And how we looked that up is if we went to pathology and laboratory again, then we would go to gross 
examination under surgical pathology and all the levels are listed there and you would have to go to these levels and determine which specimen a tooth would be. So if we go back to those levels, they start at 88300 and go to 88309. Level one is gross examination only, which is what our tooth was. Level two is gross and microscopic examination of these organs or body systems, body parts, appendix, fallopian tube for sterilization, fingers, toes, amputation. I won't read them all. And then you can see all the different categories have different types of specimens and the reason. So for example, 88304 is abortion induced, but 88305 is abortion spontaneous or missed. So you want to make sure and get the the correct gross pathology body part and the reason. For example, 88304, if we look, it has a colon colostomy stoma and colon is also under 305, colon biopsy. And it's also under 88307 colon segmental resection. So you really have to look for the specific tissue that was examined and the reason when we're doing gross examination for pathology coding.